Dear students, hope you have done the first reading of all the subjects and now you are starting your serious phase of this uh, revision process. We know this revision process, especially the first revision process is going to be somewhat challenging for you. Like uh, you will be having your own schedule, how to cope up with the topics covered uh, some few months before. Now I'll, how I'll touch, how I'll remember. So these kind of things will be, you will be having in your mind. But don't worry, everything is possible. You will have a smooth revision process. Your first revision, second revision, third revision. And now, actually, from our side, we are giving you an approximate revision planner, like uh, how much time approximately you can allocate for the first reading, first revision, second revision, and the third revision. Because this revision process is going to be very crucial and uh, it is going to cover only the high yield points and especially the second division, third division, and third, you have to be like in your fingertips, actually, you have to go through the high yield topics. So we understand that the level of preparation of uh, students varies from students to students as well as the depth of understanding and the speed, everything varies. But this planner will approximately suit most one of you. This is being tailored uh, accordingly to suit every one of you. So now let's see like a demo, like what are all the high yield topics you have to cover in this uh, revision process and uh, how this first, second and third revision has to be go on from this uh, gender path, systemic path and uh, hematology. So let me share the screen and uh, tell you that uh, how this revision process is going to start. Yes. So now uh, if you see this actually in this general pathology, we know cell injury adaptation. Actually, we have given an approximately 50 minutes for the first reading. So how your first reading should start? See, this is our general path annotated PDF. And where you can see in the 50 minutes, you have to go through only the high yield points like see this cell injury hypoxia ischemia is the most common cause of uh, hypoxia so like uh, hypoxia most common cause of hypoxia is ischemia so like this kind of things you can go through it but most of the things already you would have done in the first trading so these stabler columns as well as uh, this uh, metaplasia and uh, reversible cell injury reversible cell injury you have in the first revision to go through this uh, pictures and what are all the image contains and what are the points you highlighted so everything you have the time especially you can go through the uh, image the salient points and the images and also as you see in our workbook we have given in the form of the necrosis only in the form of the bullets so you go through necrosis okay quality necrosis this points to a row of tombstone appearance and a liquefactor necrosis brain and a caseous necrosis tc appearance so like that you have a time plan you have a time limit to go through these things in detail in the first revision that too you should be done within 50 minutes so here you have to more concentrate more on apoptosis as well as uh, this uh, pigments especially the lipofusin pigment and this tabular column is going to be crucial because this tabular column will be going to you going to see both in first, second and third division also. Because this once if you read even in the last minute also you need at least one side see this tabular column. What is the stains? What is the thing? Substance stain. So all the last thing also you want to go through it. Okay. So this area you have to concentrate even in the second and also in the third division. And also see this calcification autophagy. So let's like, see this kind of things like Alzheimer's disease, hunting, tensing, impaired autophagy, LC3 marker of autophagy. So these kind of things, even in your third revision also, this LC3 marker of autophagy, you want to remember. So you have to highlight with a separate uh, highlighter color. So in third division also, I want to see these things. And uh, similarly, in the aging also go through the process. So it means all these things are there faster rate and in a faster rate okay faster rate and also these questions mostly you will be able to solve all these questions uh but now within the span of 15 minutes if you uh feel like a little difficulty in solving these mcqs now like just a highlight you would have highlighted the what are the important what are the correct answer no so just see that answers once then see the images given in these questions you will get a hold of it but if the same thing in the second revision you will not go this much. See how much time we have allotted in the second division. So for this cell injury and adaptation, the second division is exactly the half of this. So exactly the half of this means uh, you will not go, you will not have much in detail because these images and all these things and all already you would have gone through the first reading. So now you have to go through it only the 
images okay only the images just images one okay it's promise metaphasia alchian blue so those kind of things only you have to immediately go through it so and also see this like pycnosis karyolysis karyolysis these things actually in the second division also you have to go through it and also in the second division uh as in the necrosis the keywords are highlighted and uh, in the uh, apoptosis, actually, you have to go through it in even these things, apoptotic genes, these things, until even in the second division also, you have to go through this. Because first division already would have gone through it, but again, this will be some just plus or minus it will be there. But in the second division, at the end of the second division, you have to cover all these points. You have to cover all these points. And uh, see... Uh, so you have to again as i said uh, in the pigments again in the second division and these things also you have to see but in the third division as you could see we have allotted only the uh, 10 minutes for the cell injury so 10 minutes how you have to go through this uh, general pathology so just in a cell injury and adaptation um, so just you have to scroll scroll through the pages. That is actually if you scroll uh, scroll through the uh, go through this work page uh, workbook pages. Just it it should be like a picture memory. Okay, this this necrosis, apoptosis, pigments, these things. Just it will be like a it will be like a faster thing. At, at the faster, if you think like everything what you, what you learned about necrosis, everything you learned about apoptosis, it should just like a picture memory. It should come within your mind. And also remember that the keywords already VSV will be having these tables like the pigments and this thing. So in those cases, actually, you have to you have to know itself fits whether you are going to read these tables either in the VSV or in the workbook. Workbook, if you feel that okay, I have read it once uh, many times in the workbook, sir. Uh, I feel even in the revision also I'll read these tables from the workbook. Now it is well and good. But if you feel certain points, actually, I want to learn it from the VSV. VSV book looks more appealing or more that a few more points are added. If you feel like that, you can go through it. But in the first or second division itself, you have to fix that is in the third division where you have to uh where you are going to read this from the um thing, these kind of tables. Similarly, if you see the other chapters, so this is the approximate thing actually I told for the first chapter. Similarly, inflammation and wound healing, uh, you have to allot 40 minutes for the first reading and uh, 20 minutes for the second reading and uh, you have to go, you can go through it in uh, 8 minutes. So this inflammation and uh, wound healing, the high yield topics will be like uh, this uh, cellular events of uh, uh, inflammation like uh, and these tables. So these tables uh, should be, uh, you have to be very thorough with this, LED1, LED2, LED3. Similarly, these uh, syndromes and uh, chediaki gashi, chemical mediators of inflammation and uh, these different types of giant cells and types of granuloma. So these kind of things in the first reading, you can go through once. Uh, second and third reading, just a quick glance and a quick glance. As I told you, you have to turn the pages. So hemodynamic disorders, uh, will uh, 30, 15 and 5 year allotted and genetics is since it is going to be fetching you a lot of MCQs you have to allot uh, this genetics equal weightage and obviously we have given uh, more time for uh, uh, diseases of immunity because actually immunity both INSCT upcoming uh, May INSCT as well as uh, June need it is going to play a key role in deciding your rank. So diseases of immunity, just like the same thing I told you how to cover, especially on the autoimmune disorders and primary immunodeficiency disorders. So these things are silly. So they have amyloid. So every time the questions ask, so like that amyloid table is there. No? So every time you have to go through this amyloid. So in the third revision also, you have to keep the C3. And uh, infections and any childhood disorders, just go through it at a faster rate, faster rate. This is an approximate time rate. Similarly, in the systemic pathology, approximately for the first time reading, uh, 30 minutes you can give for each system. And the second reading, you can go through 12 minutes. And a quick revision, it is 6 minutes. See, for example, in the systemic pathology, in the blood vessels. So, you know the blood vessels, actually, uh, vasculitis is going to be your important topic, a very high yield topic. So, vasculitis, every other question is being asked. So, what do you have to do? Every time, actually, in the third revision, you have to again go through this vascular because only the keywords, keywords, keywords. But in the other things and all, you can easily go through it in the second and the first revision. But the third revision should definitely involve this vasculitis. Similarly, you involve for all the subjects, uh, the high yield points should be, uh, must be revised even in the third revision also.
so uh, cardiovascular system like uh, mi time changes in uh, the uh, heart in the mi uh, rheumatic heart disease and infective endocarditis and all you can cardiomyopathy is under high yield topics you can go through it even in the third division also respiratory system a pneumoconiosis lung tumors even in the third division also you have to go through it especially the markers uh, gat polyps of the intestine that syndromes uh, and uh, this uh, colonic cancer, gastric cancer, this molecular markers, you can go through it. Similarly, in the neoplasia, there's a tumor suppressor genes as well as in this proto oncogenes. So go through the table, even in the third division also, because that is going to be your game changer in this INSA thing. Yes. So hepatobiliary system and about the tumor, septocellular tumor, carcinoma, and uh, cholangiocarcinoma, these things go through this. Uh, renal system, obviously, you know how important is this, that glomerular diseases and the renal cell carcinoma. So these things, cast crystal. So that image-based things, even in the third division also, that image-based, first division, you can see it fully deep. But in the third division, on seeing this image itself, you have to come through it. Okay, 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 okay. Like that cast crystals and all, the fast division should be coming there for you in the renal system. Similarly, male genital system, uh, tumors of the testis has to be given important. Female genital system, uh, carcinoma plus and carcinoma cervix, so ovarian tumors, so they are high yield topics there. Endocrine system, obviously, you know that the thyroid, the thyroid tumors is going to be there, and that the key points about the each thyroid carcinoma, you will go see in depth in the first and the overall view in the third division. So, uh, similarly, the bones and skin go through this CNS. Uh, coming to the hematology things, the same thing. Uh, this basics of a hematology, you can go through it at a faster rate. But uh, hemolytic anemias, as I used to say, like uh, every time this is going to be a very important topic. So hemolytic anemias, you can easily uh, go through it in depth in the first uh, uh, revision. But the key points, the key points which you are highlighting in the first division should be thoroughly dealt in the, in the third division also. Like you have to scroll through it, especially the images. So images, as you scroll through the workbook, see the images and register the images in, the, in your mind. This will be seen even in the third division also, these kind of images like gold ball inclusion, HBH disease, so these kind of things. Similarly, as you can see here, Uh, bone marrow aspiration, nutritional anemia, we know iron deficiency, megaloblastic anemia. Uh, similarly, very important. Similarly, this uh, lymphoenioplasm, this leukemias, lymphomas, the CD markers, uh, uh, CD markers, translocations, uh, as you would have learned that with the tail of your table. So try to see this table even in the third division also. That is in the last minute before going to the exam hall or uh, the, the night before the going to the exam. That these CD markers is going to be a very important thing which you will see even in the third division also. Similarly, the bleeding and coagulation disorders, the table column we have in our workbook, you know, like APT increased, APTD increased, what is the diagnosis, so these kind of things. So these kind of things actually in the first division go in the third division, just to scroll through it. We know that uh, we all of you have uh, prepared in the first division, uh, first phase of your one pair reading. Well, but in the second, this first division, second division and all, like you will be feeling having some doubts. So you will always feel free to contact us at any point of time. If you have any doubt, we are here to help you. Uh, I'm sure that VSV is also will be helping you in this revision planner. This is just for your convenience and giving you hope that this is possible. Okay. Wish you all the best, guys. See you soon in your dream institution with your dream set. Best wishes.